It is huge. 25 pounds, one ounce six. Boom back way. Halibut on! That's fish, mate. Second time mini one. <laughs> Get a size of that. This is why we come to Norway. The size of its guts. He's full up on something. Thirty-five pound eleven. Whoa! Look at that. This is not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> And it's a tea bag. Hi guys, welcome back to another session. Today you join me on the North Pembrokeshire coastline and it is a fantastic day. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm trying a new spot today. Um, I fished here before with uh, spinning gear and we had a lot of pollock. Um, I had a cuckoo ras here. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm aiming today, I've got three rods with me. Uh, I got my big bait rods. I'm gonna whack out a macro, whole macro, chance of a conga, hustle or a tope or something, but I'm not gonna really pay much attention to that rod today. Today's main aim is all about ras and pollock. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, a nice ball and ras, uh, but main aim would be a male, a male cuckoo ras. If I can get one of them today, I'd be like a pig and shit. I'd be absolutely buzzing. So, uh, I've just seen a boat in front of me pulling up loads of mackerel, so I got uh, T1000 big rod, big bait. I've got my uh, Vicelli Sentinel T uh, with a fixed spool braid for ras and ragwin baits, and then I've got my Century Graphics lure rod with me as well, and a load of like metal jigs and stuff. Uh, only downfall about today. I've got here and there are seals absolutely everywhere. And I mean everywhere. There's one down in front of me over here. One's just gone down here somewhere. Oh, you can't really see him. And one over that way. So I'm just getting set up. I'm gonna chuck out uh, uh, ragwin bait first on the Conti rod. Set up the lure rod. Lure rod. I might see if I can get some fresh mackerel. If not, I bought a couple of frozen ones and stuff. So uh, let's get set up and get one out there. Just a quick chat through the uh, the RAS rig. It's a two o'clock flapper, size one chinoos. So this is these are made out of old components that I've cut down off old rigs and stuff. So they're old swivels. So we got beads, swivel bead, hook. I got a little. A little sequin fancy megas thing whatever sequin another flapper and on the bottom it's got a little rotten bottom system again with old stuff and cheap nasty stuff it's all cheap because fishing for us you are going to lose a couple of rigs probably and then we've got some ragworm i've had this ragworm for a couple of days i bought it uh friday it's now no, I bought it Saturday, it's now Monday. And it's just been wrapped in the fridge. Oh, they're tidy still, they're still alive. Farmed, but I don't think the rats are gonna care. So we'll get a wait on and we'll get one sent out. Right, we we'll bait it up, let's get one out there. Tip. Right, first cast, new mark after Ras. Uh, I'm 
some snag on the rocks, it's all going wrong. Don't ask me how that's got in there like that. It's all gone wrong. That again. Oh, so everything is going wrong with this bully bridge. Tangled the loss. Right. Rapping. My teeth out there. Probably cast that one out a bit too far, mine. In the rough stuff. See if I can get myself some fresh mackerel. Well, I was just setting up spinning rod. We've had our first fish. And it is bait. <laughs> There's a lovely couch in. There you go, guys. What a beauty. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to chuck this one back, actually. Stunning fish. Nice pouting, though. If this was winter time, he'd definitely be going back out. But he's going to go back in the sea. Alive. Nice little start that was. Nice little pouting. Got my uh, Century Graphics lure rod. Pen Slammer. 3,500. Brave. And this is just a little, uh, it's called a Chapara Jet by Magecraft. A couple of chucks, see if we can get a pollock, mackerel, grass. You'll see.
nothing on the first cast. The rod's going. The rod's going. We're the bike on the rod's rod. Oh my god! I missed it. I bloody missed it. That was a stonking bite. Oh well, I'll bring you back when I got a fish on. Very quiet on the first two casts of the spinning. Literally the next cast. Ooh. After I switched the camera off to the Pollock. Getting popped back. The bottom hook on the uh, rast rod was absolutely stripped, so. Just baiting back up and we'll get it back out. Good rotten bottom system, this. Just something small I've made up. It's 15 pound line. It's an upside down clip. And then just a load of like little weak links, little links I've been given. And then all you do is get the lead, pop it on top of that. And you can cast that out then without worrying about it snapping. And when it hits the bottom, it just comes up and off. Job done. Let's get it out there. There's a bloody seal right next to me. It's going to come right in front of us. Down here somewhere. Oh, he's just gone under. Bugger. Bites instantly on the, the raft and rod. I'm fishing braid. It's picking up a little tiny bite. Could be a little pouting. If we can get a couple of rafts today, I'd be happy. Going for a little Japawa slow jig now. Again, a little bit bigger, I suppose. Not on the slow jig. Get him pop back. Well, certainly tallying up the species now. This is. A lovely big Tom Pop Lenny. Stunning. Hungry bugger. <laughs> Get him. Focus on it. Come on. Beautiful. Get him pop back. Right, just cast out to the rass rod. And, oh, oh, 
it's wriggly. Yeah. And I have just caught a monster pout. I'm gonna keep this one for bait. You'll be going out hole in a bit. Lovely. Four is a nice rat, I've got it. Oh well, welcome sight though. Let's get another bait back out there. Here we go. Here we are, another one to add to the tally. The species today. A mackerel. He's going out fresh. After. Lovely. Let's see if we can get a few more. We have it, target species. A lovely wrasse. Getting put back. Lovely bite on the wrasse rod. And it's produced another, lover, another lovely wrasse. Look at that. Beautiful. Sun's coming out now. It's going to pop back. The rotten bottom worked on that one. Which is good. out. His arse has blown a little bit but there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. It's popping back. This is turning out to be quite a day. That's another little pollock on the jig. There's a shoal of some little fish getting chased by looks like mackerel to my right. They've gone tight into the rocks now. Yes. It's like a bullet from a gun, go on. Let's just chuck this out the way. Yeah, the um, rotten bottom system worked, which was good. Under the tangle up mess here now. A lot of dolphins coming through. Oops. Holding my phone in my hand, so if it's a bit uh, wobbly wobbly, I'm sorry. Lovely to see. I'm having such a nice day. I haven't been out with the bait rods in ages. Getting plenty of fish. And the sun's out. What more could I want? Well, oh, 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 oh. I was in the process of trying to set up a, a bait rod. Oh, and this little bugger. Oh. Come along. A little ballon. Fish and sand to pick up a bit now. So we'll, we'll chuck a mackerel out, I think. Just baiting up the first hus, conger, tote bait, whatever you want to say. That is one of the fresh mackerel. Going out. Wire trace. Fresh is best is the saying. Hopefully we can pull out something. Something with teeth that can pull back. I haven't caught uh, a nice fish on bait in months upon months now. So it'd be nice to see a hus. Something like that hope would be even better but hoping for too much here I think. Right the fishing's got a bit quiet on the uh, the bait rods lost quite a few uh, ends of brass gear now but I've just had a lovely pollock on the Chapara jet. Lovely fish look at that eye. Beautiful. Get him on hooked and popping back. At last, we fit another ass. Nothing huge on the hook pop out, I wonder. <laughs> He's only really just hooked in the lip. Out. He's off. 
go. Fish in quite deep water, so their asses keep on popping up. It's gonna pop back. Right, another ras, a tiny one this time. Oh, it's so wriggly. There you go. It's a little barren. Let's pop the fruit back. Good scrap off that one, mind. Cast it out far into the current now, so the hell of a rip here. Beautiful. last cast with the uh, rash and rod so I'm out of rag with I put uh, a bit of crab on now not a bash not a sniff on the, the fresh bait at all on the um, fresh mackerel whole, whole mackerel go well two thirds of a mackerel with guts hanging out and everything not so much as a sniff not even a doggy so uh, these are going to be the last casts, I think, and we'll make the, make the journey home then. Been a lovely uh, little session though, a couple of wrasse, uh, a few pollock, a couple of mackerel. Once I pack this, I might pack the wrasse rod away in a bit and go back on uh, the spinning for a little bit. Tide's starting to ease off a little bit now. So hopefully I can wrinkle out one or two more pollock and maybe a big grass on the crab. We'll see. Right guys, that's it for this session. Nothing else on the uh, little metal jigs, so I'll call it a day. It's, uh, it's been a hard day, I won't lie. Uh, lost quite a bit of uh, gear on the RAS. I should have bought a smaller rod and just fixed it over the side and stuff. Like I was tuned to try to catch a cuckoo, but uh, didn't have any luck. So a few nice little RAS though. Uh, a load of mackerel and pollock on the jigs. So I didn't record every single one because it's just you know the same fish over and over again. But uh, I have been doing a lot on the uh, the bass of late as well. Um, I haven't been making any videos. Just, I just find it too much hassle to um, to record, and then you know, most of the time you're just watching me reeling in, reeling in, reeling in. It's a lot of footage to go back over and edit. But I've got a load of pictures which I'll put in at the end of this video as well. Uh, Going to be quiet again for a while now. I've got six months of work on, uh, and only weekends to go fishing. But I'm going to spend it spend the time with uh, my wife and daughter so hopefully now if I do get out I'll make a video but I'm not promising much uh, I know I got two weeks off over Christmas so I'll give a good go on the spear dog maybe um, I won't be doing the yard this year because I no longer work where I used to work so I don't have access to the yard which I'm gutted about but I got the most of the fishing while I was there uh, I've got a few other spots uh, more open coast deep water for congas now I'll give a good go on and spear dogs but yeah that's it for a session guys cheers for watching like and subscribe and all that malarkey and I'll see you guys on the next one cheers